I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another studio vlog. It is Wednesday today. Usually I film my studio vlogs on a Monday, but my part-time job where I teach music for a few hours a week has now changed and Mondays were previously one of my full days off at home and now Wednesday is my first full day off at home in the week. So Wednesday is going to be the new studio vlog filming day so hopefully each week I will get them uploaded for you on a Thursday from now on or maybe a Friday potentially depending on how long it takes me to edit the vlog so yeah vlogs will be now uploaded on a Thursday or Friday rather than a Tuesday or Wednesday. It's Wednesday the 19th of April today and I wrote a to-do list this morning of things I want to get done and I've been way too ambitious and I've got way too many things on there and there's just no way I'm going to get everything done today and I need to accept that so I need to kind of reduce my to-do list down I think well my main priority is going to be packing orders sorry if you can hear a weird noise Otis is down here like cleaning himself I don't actually know what he's doing <laughs> sorry if my voice keeps going really weird and croaky I've got a bit of a sore throat I think it's hay fever actually it always affects my throat as well I've been really like itchy and sneezy this morning um, but anyway, yeah, I need to get my to-do list down a little bit and not be so ambitious and stress myself out. So yeah, a huge priority today is to get orders packed because I took quite a long break over Easter from packing Etsy orders. I set my dispatch time to like up to seven working days so I could have time off with Lewis. So yeah, I need to, I've still got a few of those to make my way through, so I'm going to get that done. I need to pack website orders as well, so I'll show you a few orders as I'm packing them. So it is currently 9.50 and at 10 o'clock I have a Google meeting call or Zoom call, I don't actually know what it is, but I need to get that ready up on my laptop. It's about a potential partnership with a brand. They reached out to me and would like to work with me, but I'd like to get to know a little bit more about the brand and what the partnership would involve before I go ahead with it. It is something that I am actually really interested in. Um, it's to do with like running a small business and kind of like the behind the scenes of that admin-y stuff. Um, and it's something that could potentially help me a lot with that. So I want to know a bit more about the brand, what it stands for, how it would help me, if I would benefit from it and would you guys benefit from it if I tell you about it. So yeah, I want to get a little I want to get to know a little bit more about that before I say yes because if I am going to do brand collaborations on here I want them to be with brands that I am actually interested in, something I'd actually use day to day. I'm not just going to accept random partnerships with brands um, just for the sake of it so I just wanted you to know about that. So yeah I've got that call at 10 o'clock, I'm hoping it won't take longer than like half an hour because I need as much time today as possible to get done um so yeah that's what's happening at 10 o'clock then after that I'm going to get some orders packed then I'll catch up with you and let you know what I'm going to do for the rest of the day but yeah welcome to another studio vlog I'm very excited to be here filming it for you today it's my favorite part of the week like filming the studio vlog and editing it um so yeah I really hope you enjoy it and I'll catch up with you in a bit <laughs> my little it was a google meeting um but yeah i'm feeling really positive about it i feel like if i do go ahead with this i think i will learn a lot from it and hopefully you guys will as well because even in that meeting sorry i'm doing that really annoying thing where i'm talking about something but not really telling you what i'm talking about um but I feel like if I do go ahead with it, there's a few more things that I want to have a look at and get some more information on. But if I do go ahead with it, I think it will be really beneficial for me as well as for some of you guys as well. Because I've learnt things even just in that Google meeting that I didn't even know about. So yeah, that's really exciting. I'm going to have a little look at some more information about that. They're sending me an email through with some information on the questions I've asked and stuff like that. But yeah i'm feeling really positive about that and it is now what time is it oh it's 18 minutes past 10 so it was only 18 minutes so i've still got most of the day ahead of me to get other stuff done so yeah i just wanted to pop on quickly after that call just to tell you about it before i forget and 
end up not mentioning it throughout the rest of the video. So yeah, let's get some orders packed. <laughs> Here's to the good days, here's to the sorrows If this is a mistake, I know about tomorrow I don't wanna fight no more, cause I don't feel the need no more, no Just wanna make it stop Maybe it's something in the water Or maybe we just hit the end of the road First love, and you were my first one. Cheers to all the memories, the venom and the remedies. Yeah, promise I won't forget. Yeah. Maybe it's something in the water, or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's too late not to let it go, and that's why I. Get dressed and then we cry Cause we both 
orders are now all packed. That's taken me so long because a lot of the orders had like stickers, sticker sheets and things like that or prints and I print things on demand so I had to make some stock up and it took longer than I thought it would. It's now 5 to 2. I did also have a lunch break though in that amount of time since I last spoke to you. Um, but yeah, I've just been taking it a bit slow today because I have a really bad headache. I don't often get headaches but I've got a really bad one today and and yeah because of that I'm just not feeling my best obviously so I'm just taking things a little bit slower. I've got my big thermal flask from Typo. Um, this is literally a lifesaver, it's making me drink so much more water because like I don't know I'm really weird because it looks nice I want it out and it's just there on my desk all the time so I'm just constantly picking it up and drinking and I definitely wasn't drinking enough water but I've been drinking like two of these a day recently since I got it and I am feeling those better for it just today I have a really bad headache for some reason and I think it's because probably I didn't drink enough water earlier on in the day so I've just filled this up again and hopefully I can get another one down me before the end of the day but yeah it's not affecting me really it's just it's just throbbing a little bit and it's just making me like do things a lot slower than I normally would. So yeah, orders are now all packed. This is today's pile. If I can hold it up. These are the orders that are going out today. So I'll need to take those to the post office as well in a little bit um, to make sure they go out before the cutoff point, which is five o'clock in my village where I live. So I always have to make sure I take things to the post office before five. I do need to look into though arranging for collections now i'm getting more website orders because i don't think correct me if i'm wrong but if you purchase your labels through etsy although you are purchasing royal mail labels i don't know if you can arrange for royal mail to collect those packages or parcels envelopes whatever but obviously if you do click and drop which is directly through the royal mail website you can arrange a collection so i do my shopify website orders straight through click and drop so I can arrange for them to be collected but most of my orders come through Etsy where I buy the labels directly through Etsy and I don't think you can arrange a collection for those but if anybody knows if I'm wrong like please tell me because if there's a way to get around that that would be so useful if the postie can come and collect them rather than me have to go to the post office I mean the post office is literally like a five minute walk from my house <laughs> So that's just me being really lazy, but it would just be so convenient and it saves the trip. You know, they come here anyway, so collect my parcels for me while you do and the jobs are good at. I am slightly annoyed, I'm not going to lie, because I was expecting some parcels to arrive today that I was going to unbox with you in this video. I've ordered some new thank you cards because every 1000 or so orders I redesign my thank you cards that go out with all orders. So for a couple of months, the thank you card has been this design, which is take things at your own pace. And it's a little cute snail design. Um, and then all the details are on the back just to say thank you. And there's a little code there as well for future orders. But I have had a little bit of a branding switch up recently, not massively. I've just changed my colours ever so slightly in the fonts that I'm using. So yeah, I've changed up my thank you cards to reflect that. So the back is different. And obviously the design on the front is different as well because it's a new design. And it's really cute. I can't wait to show you. So that'll have to wait until the next vlog, I think. But I do have an exciting parcel from another small business owner. I actually made an order from them ages ago and it's been sat here waiting for me to unbox it in a vlog. Um, so I'm going to unbox that with you now and see what's inside. So what I've ordered is from a business called A Mundane Life and Sarah who owns the business is one of my patrons and she had a sale on a few weeks ago, it was probably two or three weeks ago now, um, where you could get 15% off. So I placed an order of some things that I'd had my eye on and this is the parcel that it's come in. So there's a really cute sticker on there that says order up Millie with her branding on. And then at the back there's a little sticker that says happy mail from a mundane life so that is um the business that's her logo there so i'm going to unbox it now and see what's inside 
Oh, these are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love them. So I've got two cello sleeves with some goodies inside. So let's open up this one first because there's a little note in there as well. So yeah, Sarah from A Mundane Life, her business is all stationery, really cute stationery, sticker sheets, die cut stickers, things like that. Similar to me really, but her, her style is quite different to mine. So we have a little, a little card that says, thank you so much for shopping with A Mundane Life. Here's a super cool sticker to say thanks. And there's a little discount code there as well. But that's a little die cut sticker like attached to the little card. That's really cool. I love that. Thank you so much. Then she's also put in there a little freebie mini sticker sheet as well with some really cute designs on. So if you've watched some of my recent studio vlogs, you'll know that I really recently started a bullet journal. I'm not great at it. I've literally written a few pages, but they're really simple. But I wanted some stickers to use for that. And I thought these ones would be really cute. So for these sticker sheets, you get a pack of four. So it's four sticker sheets of the same design. And these ones have weekdays on. So you've got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all in different colours, a really cute font. And they're all exactly the same. So you get four in a pack. And they're just super cute. I love that they're pastel colours. She did do a black and white version as well, but obviously pastels are very much, very much my aesthetic. So yeah, that's the first little sleeve unboxed and I will open this one. And again, this one is a sticker pack, but it's four different designs this time. So we've got this one here with some really cute, with some really cute illustrations on. I love the fact that there's a DS. Um, I am obsessed with my Nintendo Switch at the minute. So that is super cool. Tamagotchi, used to have one of those. And um, just some really cute illustrations like washi tapes, um, coffee, I think that's coffee. Oh no, hot chocolate, there's little marshmallows on it. Um, but yeah, that is just super cute. So for example, if I do like a diary entry in my bullet journal and I've been playing on my Switch or whatever, I can put that on there. Or, or if I've just been doing some self-care and things like that, they're kind of like those illustrations. So they're just like fun activities. And then we've got a really similar one here, but this does actually have the proper Switch on it. So I think this one on here is the DS. So kind of like old school games. And then this one's got some of the newer ones on there. So you've got the Switch console, the light version. Oh no, I think that is the Switch, but that's just like the controllers when you put them on the actual um, console holder thing. And some more drinks, donuts, Animal Crossing bells. I'm obsessed with Animal Crossing. So yeah, that's just very me. I am obsessed with these. And then we've got two sheets here. And these are kind of like strips, so almost like washi tape really which is a really cool idea so yeah you can use those as you would washi tape in your bullet journal but there's just some really cool designs on there um i especially love the lilac and pink colors of these ones yeah i can't wait to use those thank you so much sarah for your cute illustrations and makes i am really excited to use them um i'll leave sarah's details in the description if you want to check out her if you want to check out her website which you definitely should because she does loads of cute things over there so yeah i'll leave all the details below sorry it took me so long to unbox it <laughs> i just wanted to share it on camera with everybody else so i've just been saving saving them for now so i hope you enjoyed watching me unbox that um, I have a few other things that I'd like to get done today. I have a boring job to do, but I feel like I am going to include it in the vlog because because it's an important one. I, I really want to up my email marketing strategy game because I do have a mailing list and I think, I actually can't remember off the top of my head, but there's at least like 80 people I think on my mailing list. It might even be more now. But I never send emails and I know I really should because it's a really good marketing strategy and it's proven to be really effective. So I was using the Shopify email integration. That was okay, but the design process of the emails just takes so long. So I then moved over to MailChimp. But again, the design process takes a while on there as well. So I've heard of quite a few people talk about MailerLite 
as a Shopify email marketing integration app so I'm gonna give that a go I'm gonna download it see what that's about and I've also seen that on Canva you can get email marketing templates so I'm hoping if I use those I'll find it a lot easier quicker and just a lot easier in general to make create and send out emails to my customers because at the end of the day the people who have subscribed to my mailing list they are interested in the things I sell, they like my business, they might have signed up to it to download my free daily planner printable sheet which is what you get as like a little freebie for signing up and if they like that it's likely that they'll like my other products as well because it's stationary related so there'll be discounts sent over there, um, notifications to be reminded of upcoming products that are launching and things like that so yeah it'll be really good if I can up my email marketing game because I've been meaning to do that for absolutely ages so yeah let's get mailer like downloaded and see what that's all about hi guys change of scenery I'm now in the living room sat at the dining table so like well it's a little bit living room not a really a living room diner it's basically we've got a living room and the dining table is in it so I'm sat at the dining table um and I've just been sorting out my integration to Mailer Light, so I got a bit carried away. It's now quarter to four, um, so I've been figuring out how to integrate that with my Shopify website, and I've transferred some of the data from Mailchimp, which is what I used before, onto this new platform. And I'm really liking it. It seems a lot easier to use than Mailchimp. Um, if you're not a small business owner or you don't do email marketing, you'll probably you probably don't know what I'm on about um, but basically these are two different platforms that you use to send out emails to your customers if they've subscribed to your mailing list so um, yeah I've just created my first email on Canva and I've done like a little spring birthday gift guide so I'm going to record my screen and show you what that looks like because if I turn my camera around and show you on here the colours will look all off so I'll put a little recording at the side of me now of my spring birthday gift guide so I've just gone for like two simple pages they're not too big there's not loads of information on there um, with three items from my shop that are like spring themed so plants and flowers and they're all from my new latest collection as well so I've gone for the bookmark the sticker sheet and the leave me alone pin so yeah I'm gonna see how that goes see if I do get any sales from that email because I'm gonna use it as a bit of a trial really to see if I can get well how effective email marketing actually is because I know it is really effective for some people but I've just never really um, used it all that much which I know is really bad but yeah I'm really going to try I'm going to try and get at least one email out a week hopefully and they won't always be pushing my products they'll include discount codes probably some behind the scenes stuff as well although most of that goes on to Patreon so it won't be the same things uploaded there so patrons always where I put all my exclusive things but yeah I'm really happy with it and I think it's going to be a lot easier for me now using this platform Mailer Lite. it seems a lot just a lot more smoother and I can get my head around it a little bit more also you know I said I think I have like 80-ish email subscribers well I moved my subscribers from Mailchimp over to this Mailer Lite platform, and there's 415. So <laughs> that just proves how out of touch I am with my whole email marketing game because I had no idea there was that many people, and that is insane. So yeah, I've just sent an email to all 415 subscribers, and I'll be able to see how many people open it if they click through to my website, all things like that. So that will be really interesting to look at over the next few days. I'll update you as well in my next vlog. Um, but I think I'm going to leave the vlog here for today. I feel like I've hardly filmed anything. But I honestly, I've still got a headache. I'm just not feeling 100% today. And I'm still going to put this vlog out there, even though I've not got half the things I wanted to do today done. 
One, because it took me much longer to pack my orders than I thought, and two, because this transition to mailer light also took me a lot longer than I thought as well, and also I've got a headache and don't feel very well. So, <laughs> yeah, there's a whole combination of things going on today that's just not worked in my favour, but yeah, not every day is sunshine and rainbows. I've still thoroughly enjoyed today. I love every day working on my small business, and I really hope you've enjoyed watching this vlog nevertheless. Um, if you have enjoyed it, I do upload studio vlogs like this every single week. I think from now on, I'll usually be uploading them on a Thursday or Friday, so keep a lookout for those. If you have enjoyed this vlog, please give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out. And it'll help other people find this channel if they like this kind of content as well. So yeah, please make sure you give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more from me. I hopefully will see you very soon in my next studio vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.